Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the brand new video on the channel and today in this video I'm gonna show you the new custom room for J23G. Actually, this is not the new because it was already ported uh, maybe a year ago and, uh, and as you can see it's Viper OS and it's running on Android Nova based on the same and it's a custom build and ported by me myself so yeah I did some of the modification because in previous uh, there used to be some of the bug and I did some of the modification and as you can see build number is October 19th and yeah that's all and it has the latest security patch level of October 5 and it's running on that no bug so like yeah and this is a stable rope and there used to be the bug of GPS and all uh, that uh, some that issue related to mobile data which is fixed now and you can use it as the daily driver so as you can see let me just uh, turn on that gps and yeah gps is turning on there used to be gps bug and it's now fixed successfully and there are some of the application new added uh floating youtube messages sorry floating youtube videos and that's all and uh, new android audio emojis as well as android io uh, sorry ios emojis is added on this which makes it pretty much cool so to install this custom room let me just power up my phone and uh, after doing power up what i need to do is i just need to put my phone into table recovery i mean, uh, maybe you all know the process so it's getting power up and yeah it's, i knew it's power up and what i need to do is i just need to hold this power key open it up key and hold key for this same time for the some time because uh the twrp is not stable in this and it will take some time uh, so let's just wait until it get booted into the team and recovery so yeah let's count three two one here we go and finally yeah, j2c sorry j2 logo has been arrived and let's see whether it will point into the team and recovery or not yeah, finally i am in the team and recovery and yeah to uh, install this rom what i need to do is i just need to go on the wipe and select all the system data and catch so yeah let me just focus yeah, focused and uh dynamic catch uh, system and data and go on the swipe to wipe so yeah. Uh, yeah after the wiping is completed what i need to do is i just need to go on the install and select the uh, g file where i have kept so yeah it's on my on my internal storage and as you can see viper uh, and that uh, gaps file also we need to flash gap file also so, yeah, i will skip the video or tell it get uh, flashed so finally flashing is done and what i need to do is i just need to go to my catch and help big and go to the reboot system and just wait and then you can go to the uh, that uh, startup link so yeah this is my galaxy j2 and let's see the boot animation what it is so boot animation is uh, like previous uh process for us just to change the boot animation and i have changed this time with it and emojis and many things so finally yeah i'm going to uh, set up menu and let me just do the setup and i will just skip the video and uh, everything is supported wi-fi is also supported on this so we have no issue related to wi-fi and anything so finally i'm on the home screen and this is what the interface look like so there are a uh, little bit bloatwares there are no more bloatwares and you can even do a lot of customization in the viper os there is the venom in the viper os by virtue of which you can do a lot of customization and let me just show you the emojis here is the ios 12 emojis which is pretty much good thing so we are getting ios emojis on our android that was g 2 3 g which is pretty much good thing so guys yeah hope you like this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my channel and maybe some today signing off bye bye guys see you all on